Well, that was good timing. I just turned it on. <laughs> Happy Easter to us, right? So, this is just going to be a short little quick video of something I'm doing here real quick in uh, a new house that we just got a couple weeks ago. Um, toilet paper holders. Are you ready to see this? We're going to take these parts and we're going to put them together and we're going to build this. And the toilet paper holder just sits right down on, or the toilet paper just sits right down on there and it just mounts to the wall. I like that. All right, let's get to it and I'll show you how it goes. We just cut this piece of oak off of this board here and it's from an oak pallet and I guess sanded down the edges a little bit, made it nice and smooth and stuff. So we're gonna give it a little touch of the uh, propane torch, kind of give it a little burnt feel on it. And then we're gonna mount our toilet paper holder to it. Wait. Done burning all the edges. How you like that? Looks yeah. pretty neat. It's what it used to look like. Now this is what it does look like. When we do the next one, cause I got another bathroom to do, I'll uh, show you as I burn it. So. Here we are. Let's go mount this on the wall somewhere. So now we're gonna get this mounted on the wall here. Thinking about putting it right about there, which is a little bit under the window. And yeah, maybe we'll go right about there. So that'll be a good spot for everything. Kids can reach it, I can reach it, wife can reach it, everybody can reach it. All right, well, let's get the holes drilled through this and our uh, butterfly wing nuts in there and we'll mount this up and we'll get the toilet paper holder on it. We're gonna mount it. We're gonna pre-drill the holes for it. So as I'm sitting on the toilet, this would be a great spot for the toilet paper holder. So this is where we'll put it. Right about there. Yeah, I like it. There's the first hole. second hole. So now we know where the butterfly wing nuts are going to go and we need to get a bigger drill bit to open those holes up to get that in there. So let's get the bigger drill bit in. And make sure you have a vacuum handy because your wife is going to get mad or girlfriend is going to get mad at you if you don't clean up. camera girl doing? You think she's doing a good job so far? We'll give her an A plus so far. Alright, let's put these in. And 
never drill them to the exact size of the ring nut just because I'd like to get a little snug as they go through there. And actually, give us a quick second. We're going to get a hammer and be right back. So we're going to tap these into the wall now. snugger is a word we'll get a level on there just to make sure it's good and then we'll mount the toilet paper holder to it and we'll be done pause all right get the level we'll put the level on there and we can obviously see we're crooked so let's straighten it up so right there is going to be level Sometimes you wish you had three hands. Just a little bit. 
There we go. Right there. So we'll put our cap back down. And you can tighten this up as much as you want. Really doesn't matter. That kind of just sits there floating. Because then once you put your toilet paper back down on it, you're done. And there you go. You got toilet paper roll. Ta-da! <laughs> that is your DIY project. <laughs> Have a great day. I cut this one off of the board and now I've got the uh, edges all smoothed. I've got it pretty surface sanded right there. Everything looks nice. Just when we're going getting those splinters. And now we're going to go ahead and burn it. So let's get this fired up. So I really tighten it down. There we go. All right. We're going to set it up a little bit here because I am running low on the propane. And we're just going to give it a little touch. All right, I'm going to turn it over. And you can make it as light or as dark as you want. Okay, now we're going to do the edges. Make them a little dark right there. Oh, we'll come around and do the other side. We'll do the top of it. There, that looks nice. And we'll let's flip her around. All right, we'll do the edge again. All right, I'll come back around and do this other top side. I like it. I'm going to put a little more on this right here. Yeah, there we go. So there we are. Looks really good. All right, we're going to get ready to mount the one that we just got done burning. But now we got to take the old holders off. So we can see they have an anchor in that one. So we're going to try to uh, cover one of these up. I bet one of these have an anchor too. Actually, they both do. So I think we'll be covering this one up and we'll pull that out and just patch it later on. So I've got the touch-up paint here from our landlord, so that'll be easy to work with. So we'll just do this. We'll put that right there. Mm. That looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, I like that. Mm. All right, so let's uh, let's get these anchors out of the wall. tough to pull out. 
you know what, let's do this. Let's put the screw in there. Got one. Thank you, honey. Put that one in there. You got two. Hey. That's an easy way to pull them out. Okay. All right, we'll just flatten the holes off, dust off your leg, and then we're gonna stick this right there. I think that'll look good to me. Mark a couple of spots here. I like that there. I like that one there. And then we will. Got a little helper in here right now. We'll switch out the bit. Actually, we need to move up a speed or two. where the first one's going. Make sure we hold it steady so we can get the bottom one. All right, we got our holes. Let me switch out for the larger bit. We can round them, you know what? I can round these holes with this bit just fine. Let's just do that. little what the heck you call these uh spring wing tuggable assortment i bought this at harbor freight it was like uh 2.99 i think can't beat it it's done a lot of good around here so all right we'll get these in there put these nuts on the back these wing nuts spring nuts what do they call them? Spring, yeah, spring wing nuts. Weird name. All right, we got that one started. Put this in there. We'll get this one screwed on the back. Okay, we'll get them up to the holes. Wow. No need to tighten those in or uh, put them in with a hammer. All right, we'll put the hand, we gotta switch out the drill bit back to the Phillips. Start tightening them down. There, 
current way. Let's put the level on it. Oop, too much. right where we want it. Snug that down. And that's good. All right, now we just gotta bring in the pieces and I'm actually gonna put this one together piece by piece. And you can actually see how we did it. Be right back. I brought all the parts. So what we're going to do is take the first one here. And we'll mount it like so. You know what I didn't bring? I didn't bring any screws. Hold on, I'll be back. We got some wood screws. We're gonna put this piece on. Okay. You know, I should pre-drill some holes, but I'm just as well doing this. sits right there. There's the first one. Second one. There is the third, and here comes the last. Take our three inch piece, go ahead and put it in there. And I just get it down as tight as I can with my fingers or my hand. Then we take our 90 degree elbow, go ahead and put it on there. Straight. Takes a little bit of hand power for right here. Maybe I stand up and do it. There we go. Then we go ahead and this is five, five inches, five or six. I can't remember what I bought. Go ahead and put that on. Hand tight. Let's 
Let's put the level on it. it. Needs to come my way just a little bit. All right, it's right on the money. And then we take our other flange piece, which is just one size bigger than this. This is a three quarter. I'm sorry, this is half inch. This one's a three quarter. We just slide that down, and it sits right there. And then we take our cap. Go ahead and snug that down. There you have it. How do you like that? Then take our roll of toilet paper. Put it right down on there. There you go. Very nice. All done. So, two bathrooms done in about less than one hour because of family. You always have family time. And uh, that's my little DIY project for uh, for now. We've got more coming up. i got to build shelves for some, uh, for some oils in the kitchen and stuff. So there'll be things to come. So stick around with us and we're going to have some fun. We'll catch you guys later. Have a great night.